Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Having a little bit of knowledge about something can go a long way. I found over $4,000 worth of books in an antique mall and I had to reach out to a couple of friends, but I, I knew something was up when I saw one of these covers. I knew it was significant. So hopefully you guys are excited for this. Stick to the end of the video because you guys are gonna see some really, really cool books that if you didn't know about them, you should know about them because if you find one of these, you're gonna be in some big bucks. Hopefully you guys are excited for the video, here we go. Before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor of this video. It's Hip Comic. HipComic.com is designed by collectors for collectors. And their vision is to help comic book shops thrive by building products to help them grow in the digital age. In total, Hip Comic features over a million listings by some of the biggest and well-known comic dealers in the industry. Check out the link in the description below for Hip Comic and start shopping today. So I went to an antique mall with my sons and I've got to tell you, I found two shelves full of gold, full of money in the form of books. They were just sitting there, they were priced right. It was incredible. I just started going ham. I mean, my sons were like, whoa, what's going on? I was super excited. And this may not be your cup of tea, but you've got to watch this video. You've got to stick to the end, but all of these books have incredible value. You've got to have a little bit of knowledge on these things if you're out and about. I, I remember being into comics years and years ago, probably 10 years ago, and completely passing up some of these, which were probably like five to seven dollars. I remember passing them up and like, that's not my cup of tea. But if I would have bought them, I could have sold them or flipped them into a nice comic book. I mean, I probably got, you know, a Daredevil number one sitting here in a pile that I probably only paid 150 bucks for. So it, you've got to start thinking in that way to where you need a little bit of knowledge. If you see something cool and you don't know anything about it, research it. But I, I saw these, I immediately knew what they were and I started going ham looking for specific key issues. And these are comic book related and they're all, they all have to do with timely. So Marvel comics before they were timely. And, and then the one at the end is just incredibly valuable. So, so expensive. And I found it for like nine bucks or something like that. So anyways, hopefully you guys stick to the end. You've got to check these out. And if anything, enjoy the beautiful artwork and enjoy the beautiful covers. Share these with your friends. You've got to find these things out in the wild. These are in the wild and people just pass them right up. Collectors pass them right up. I remember this place, this antique mall was packed and nobody gave two craps about these things except for me. And I was like, there, there's actual money just sitting here on the floor and I'm gonna buy it. So first one up is from September of 1951. So it's the golden age. This is Marvel Science. So these are pulp magazines, you guys. I'm telling you, do not click off this video. You've got to stay to the end. These are incredible. So first of all, you've got this guy, you've got this girl. Now this is Timely Comics. It's Red Circle Comics or whatever. Look at look, look at the condition on this thing. For a pulp magazine, this, these were printed on the most cheap paper ever. Sometimes it's thick, but it gets really, really dry and brittle quickly. So Marvel Science Stories from September of 1951. Look at the atomic bomb going off in the city. And you've got uh, this male character and this female looking out of some sort of porthole. I believe that's what it looks like to me. Or looking through something. And he's actually operating some kind of ship here. Incredible, incredible book. I didn't pay over $20 for any of these things. This one is probably the cheapest out of all of them because it's the newest. When you're looking at pulps, I know DS, JD, these guys are from the Golden Guys, and the Knights of Old. They always say um, 30s, 1930s, 1920s. Those are the pulps that you want. But then, then look for Skulls, look for The Shadow, look for Doc Savage, look for Mar Marvel Science. Uh, these things are incredible. So I just went ham on these. This issue is number two of this volume. And this is actually one that I had already. And this is number one. A great place to check for these and information on these is mycomicshop.com. They've got them all listed. You just have to sift through a lot of a lot of crap to find them. All right, so now is on to the big, big bucks. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's feature videos. And you guys, would you drop a thumbs up for this amazing, amazing find? All right, this is incredible. I'm starting off with one of the big books. This is the second biggest book. This is from 1938. August 1938, Marvel Science Stories, number one. Volume one, number one. It, it predates, it's, it's like the first Marvel ever printed by Martin Goodman. So the guy who created the Human Torch, Kazar, Kazar, who created Angel, who created all of these characters or at least publish them incredible incredible so this is volume one 
issue one. Look at this cover right here. You've got these ape-like creatures, ape-like aliens. You've got this guy. You've got this female hooked up by the neck to something, some sort of electrical thing. You've got this brain being, you know, encased in there. Amazing, amazing book. Volume one, issue number one, predates Marvel Comics number one, the first appearance of Human Torch. These all do. These all predate Marvel Comics number one. Next up, from November of 1938, Marvel Science Stories, Volume 1, Number 2. It's, it's incredible. This is a five-issue run for the first volume. This is Number 2. And you've got the two ladies there just being researched. And you've got a whole crowd of ladies in the background. Terrifying. Robots working on them. Insane. So that book right there is probably $500 to $1,000. Um, DS seems to think I'd have no problem getting $500 out of that one. Listings on these things are nuts. So this one is issue number two. Great red cover. Beautiful. You've got that crazy big-headed being there. Number two. Incredible book. Incredible. Beautiful book. All right. This is one of my favorite ones too. This I was so excited to see this one because I've seen it on Knights of Old's uh, YouTube channel before. This is issue number three. You've got these huge like Zeppelin-like alien UFOs. You've got a UFO right here and they are just destroying the city or they're saving it. I can't tell. They're shooting some sort of beam out of the out of their spaceships and I can't tell if it's water or if it's fire. You know, if it's if it's actual one burning the city or if it's saving it. But this is incredible, incredible. And this one is from February of 1939, still predating Marvel Comics number one. Marvel Comics number one, the first appearance of Human Torch, debuted in November of 1939. And this is February of 1939. Look at all those beautiful Marvel logos there. Red Circle Publications or Red Circle. It's, here is number four. This is an amazing cover. You've got these, this nurse, you've got some observers. You've got this other scientist down here and they are examining or doing experiments or diagnosing uh, this female character. Incredible. Or they're creating something. Neoplastic, maybe therapy. I'm not sure what that says in the background. But this is issue number four from April and May of 1939. Predates Marvel Comics number one. Look at all of these together. So, so great. All right. Here's another one. Marvel Science Stories number five so i was able to find the entire run of marvel science stories volume one issues one through five incredible i would say that this run right here is probably worth anywhere from 1500 to two thousand dollars you know maybe as a set worth more i was thinking you know if i was ever to ask for this as an entire set but when do you ever see these all together from an original owner. This is a book that I passed on when I was in a comic book shop in St. Louis years and years ago, and I've always been so intrigued by it, and I've always wanted to find a copy that I could afford. And this one certainly was one that I could afford because it was under 20 bucks, but this is Marvel Tales from December of 1939. So November, Marvel Comics number one came out. December, Marvel Tales came out. Look at this amazing, amazing cover. This is right at the very start of the war in Europe. So Marvel Tales, this is, like I said, December of 1939. Look at that angel character. You've got the pilot, she's rescuing. He's got the, the pistol in his hand. Looks like some sort of like 1911 pistol. You've got the biplanes in the background incredible marvel tales just an absolutely beautiful beautiful book and this is actually from western fiction publishing company and so i'm not sure 100 if this is a red circle or not but it's just it's incredible marvel tales we've all heard that title before once again look at all these beautiful beautiful books in the background and th this marvel tales is listed right now on mycomicshop.com at a 1.0 and this is definitely you know a good to very good copy. It's listed on mycomicshop.com at a 1.0, so poor condition for $599, $600. Don't know what this thing is worth. Pulps are really hard to price because there's no precedent really. There's some sales on heritage auctions that you can go look at, but 
like I said, there's no precedent. Once CGC starts grading these books, it's going to be insane. But the last book I wanted to show you guys is the best book, and it is crazy. This is the one that I knew I recognized, and I had to send it to the Golden Guys on Instagram. I, I started a chat group with them, DS Comics, Knights of Old, and JD. I sent it to them because I know JD is for sure a, a pulp expert. Knights of Old has got all of these Marvel uh, science stories. I know DS Comics is just insanely knowledgeable about everything. So this is the one that I looked at. I pulled off the shelf. Actually, my son noticed another stack on the wall, which I wasn't even looking at. He said, hey, here's a couple more. And I was like, whoa, hold on. This is something big. He walked away and I said, dude, you just pointed out like a $4,000 book. And so I would, I would guesstimate this thing to be about $4,000. That's probably what I had asked for at retail. I paid $9 for this thing. So that's why you've got to know a little bit about everything. And I'm glad you guys stuck around. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hit that thumbs up right now if you could. I'd really appreciate it. But I found amazing stories from August of 19. 28 and this is the first appearance of buck rogers this is literally the first appearance of buck rogers the spine is very very brittle and beat up but the cover is attached the book is complete it is amazing and this is in like a life-size magazine holder this is from th these amazing stories they were a magazine sized when they first came out compared to a pulp in comparison so that's the size of those. This one, like I said, it is um, incredible. There's one listed right now on eBay for $8,000. Now it's in pretty nice condition. There's one that sold heritage auctions for $6,000 in pretty decent condition as well. And this one is about half of that. It's half of the, the grade. The, the entire front cover is there. It could be cleaned up. This thing is definitely a candidate to get cleaned up and shine this thing. The colors are beautiful. You would expect in this time frame that the reds would fade a lot if it was exposed to UV light, but these have not faded at all. Beautiful, beautiful co colors. No chips out of the cover. It's fantastic. No chips out of the back either. This is why I say you got to know a little bit about everything. You'll be successful when you're out hunting. And so you don't necessarily, you might not be able to find the comic book, but you can find a $4,000 pulp maybe if you know for $9, if you know a little bit about a little bit about it. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed something different, but still similar in the way that these are great covers still by Timely or Marvel Comics. These are incredible. And then this one, just out of this world, a grail find in the pulp world. Someday this, this magazine right here, this pulp magazine is going to be worth over $10,000. And we're going to say, can you remember back when we could buy that for a couple thousand dollars? This is like a holy grail. But yeah, there's, there's talks of George Clooney potentially doing a Buck Rogers movie or series of some sort. Either way, regardless, this is still a top pulp find and a top pulp magazine for anybody. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with it. Uh, definitely share this video with your friends. Let's get the knowledge on pulps up because these things are spectacular. If you guys wanna know more about pulps, let me know. I can do more videos on pulp magazines. Actually, I went back and found a whole bunch more just dollars. I found a whole bunch more <laughs> pulps worth a crap ton of money and they were asking the right price for me. So thank you guys. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscription button. Thanks to Hip Comic for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description below to go to hipcomic.com right now and start shopping today. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below what you thought of these amazing, amazing finds, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. See you, bye.